the United Against Cancer. What the Win Win Initiative is, uh, there are two wings to it. You are using scientific approaches that are well established historically to increase their affordability and improve the value of cancer care. So, you know, we have resource uh, sparing cancer treatment, especially for low middle income countries using models that have been tried here. And then you spoke about the second wing as well, which was, um, uh, I think declared in the Harvard Catalyst Summit and it, it's catalytic action and advice from scientists to increase the rates of establishment of clinical oncology uh, in the world, particularly in Africa. So thank you so much for that. And uh, the role, you also mentioned the role that advocates have to play like myself and in taking the message across. And we are always working with the uh, oncologists to spread the word about new devices, to share our experiences from high and low income countries and see where we can merge and where we cannot merge, then we, we, we have to find our own homegrown solutions. And then also the power of partnerships. And so with this interview, we hope that we will have a lot of people sharing it so that we can hear about this initiative. And it's also available online very easily and everybody can uh, key into the whole program. So I want your comments on artificial intelligence and the role that you think that it will play in the context of um, global oncology and in the context on the African continent. This will be, it is very promising. And in, uh, in, uh, even in our book, in our initiative, we say, don't afraid from artificial intelligence. We even call it uh, assisting intelligence or augmenting intelligence. There is, uh, 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 you, you, uh, uh, in our last webinars, uh, uh, ASCO webinars, Global Oncology and Implementing Science, about repurposing drugs. You don't imagine the number of list of all the drugs that can be used in other indications. So it needs really uh, some, uh, 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 it is a lot, need uh, 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 analysis, need to select, to suggest some uh, better combination of drugs that can be tested. So there is a, a, a lot of things that could be done. Also for uh, 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 developing more, uh, 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 even in the inventions of uh, the drugs or modification of some drugs or some uh, 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 some, some uh, 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 protocol of treatment. And also in, uh, uh, there is two parts here, digitalization, which is very important, and uh, a computer and science and all this, because this is very important. If we remember that we need at least 5 million health workers in Africa, how we can make this? Health worker, I speak in general. But there is a role of virtual. And there is also a role of artificial intelligence, not only intelligence, on providing uh, uh, ideas, on uh, developing things to be a fit for our, uh, 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 for, uh, for, for uh, a new invention. You, uh, sometimes it's very complicated with, when, when, you, when you, you collect genomic uh, uh, things, with uh, uh, socio-economical uh, factors, with uh, with uh, what fits patients, expectation of patients, what how you can sell all these combination together to select how it is would b better value for patients. There are many 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 approaches, and we do, should not afraid of uh, of uh, of, uh, of uh, artificial intelligence, but it will make our job and our hopes more realizable more uh, more feasible with this uh, uh, with, with this possible with this uh, 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 empowering uh, coming from artificial intelligence yeah very very and true uh, and Go other ahead. things for africa and for developing countries these things are new in 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 uh, in developing countries oh. in developed oh. countries in the united states and uh, europe 
Mm. But this is new also in developing countries. So oh, you, you you can jump. <laughs> you can jump. Mm. Yes, because there is it is new for all. Mm. It is new for all. So it now is it's not saying that yes, it is no a big gap between us and uh, 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 and the, the highest institute in this country. No, because this is something new. So uh, uh, a young, uh, I am sure that a young. Person in Africa, young person in in uh, Guatemala or, or China, uh, uh, young young kid uh, is able to to do a lot more than uh, the old person like me, for example, and to learn more. So the future for them and encourage that and not afraid of this for uh, uh, not not at all. It will increase our opportunities and chance for and how to be focused on better value cancer care. This is this is the human part of, of of the job to focus to turn this uh, this uses to to be focused to our service not to be against our service. Very true, very true. So the time is now for low middle income countries uh, across the globe to leapfrog into and key into the use of digital technology to reduce uh, the workforce deficits that we are facing and will only get worse. So your final parting shots, um, Prof, you've spoken a lot about the win-win initiative. Um, can you tell us how people can be a part of it? Uh, that, and then your final words before we let you go. Welcome all. The win we are, we have, it is not slogan, it is true. The win-win initiative belongs to all and its value and its uh, uh, action will come also only if it, become belo it be belongs to all. All have the, uh, uh, the, 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 the access to, to, to join, to access, to, to, uh, to, 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 to lead, to suggest, to propose uh, something and to lead it. The win-win is, uh, 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 is not mine, is not all, and belongs to your website. ICDOC website, this uh, uh, ICDOC website, this is to, to, to the Global Oncology Implementing Science Program, which is, uh, uh, it is a forum for all. It is there are know. links to all to many to many to many initiatives in the world, many societies in the world. We we it is belongs to all really. It is forum for all it is not not ours. It will succeed only if any everyone feels that the win win is his or her uh, initiative. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, thank you so much, Prof. Do you have any final words for us? Advice of younger oncologists coming up in the space in globally uh, if you talk to them what is your word of advice to the younger oncologists that are coming up we have spoken a lot about collaboration about the use of homegrown solutions and as a former president of the uh involved at a global level on oncology what would be your advice to the younger generation of oncologists is not much advice that this is advice to to us because we count on them they are most of the present and the whole future you are the whole future and any progress the count depends on you so please focus on our patients on their real condition on how to use science and how to adopt the science to serve them and to make things Possible, not just a, a, a data of clinical trial or best of ASCO or best of ASM, but our patients. You, this is the scientific. This is not Putting out of science. Putting the patient science. first. It's hard to find. Yes, mm. yes. Mm. Putting patients first. I like that. Well, thank you so much for your time, Prof. If you have any, if you don't have any final words, I would like you to end by saying, "United against cancer." United against cancer. Please be together. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. God bless you. God be with you. And we appreciate your time. I hope that in future we'll look forward to a lot more that we can do together. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. And Egypt is doing a lot of good work with their initiatives in breast cancer and so on. And I'm pleased. <laughs> and I am pleased to please be, you are the leader now of this initiative. Please go forward. Please go I will, forward. I will. I will. We have started sharing it and I will copy you in the subsequent mails. Thank you.
Thank you, Prof. Have Thank a nice day. Bye. 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 Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.